What's going on? I'm back. We're talking about music, and today we are going to be talking about Slow Tie's newest album, Tyrant. Ever since I heard of Slow Tie back in 2019, off, off of his debut album, Nothing Great About Britain, I always thought he was a new, versatile, and eccentric voice coming from UK rap. It also boosted his profile a lot when he had a quick little feature on Ty Tyler the Creator's last project, Igor. And ever since the release of Nothing Great About Britain, he's just gone on to make some more eccentric features and collaborations. He's worked with Brockhampton, he's actually nominated for a Grammy this year for his work with Disclosure and Amine. He's also worked with Gorillaz, and he was on their last project, and he's also worked with Denzel Curry, who also makes an appearance on this album right here. I was really impressed by Slow Tie's songwriting, and his production has been also really creative. I feel like he's definitely one of the more colorful and more vibrant artists to come out of the grime scene over in the UK. Now, this is his second album right here. It's called Tyrant, it's, it's, that's his real name, and... There's a bit of a concept to this one, much like his debut album. So in a way, this is a double album, but it's only 14 tracks, can't be a double album, it's too short. Well, just right off the bat, you can see that there are 14 tracks on here, seven of them are all in uppercase letters, it's all caps, and then the second half is all lowercase. Does that mean any difference? It actually does. The first half of this, the tracks in all caps, are more grimy bangers with that that was populated throughout most of Nothing Great About Britain. On this half, I would say the highlights are cancelled with Skepta, with mainly with what he mainly has to do with the whole uh, stage and fan situation, along with the decapitated head of Boris Johnson situation. You can get into that. I'm not going to go into detail on what that it what on what all that was here. I can't speak today. Woo! Another highlight off of this is the sub 1 minute Watt where we have like these robotic this had this quick little robotic refrain from ASAP Rocky and it's just one of the best under 60 second interludes, I guess, I've heard in a long time. And on the second half, all of the tracks that are lowercase letters, that are typed in lowercase, they are a lot more emotional and, like, at I wouldn't say tugging at the heartstrings, but coming from Slow Tie's heart. The production is also a little different, too. It's a little more somber, not as in your face as the first half. And I gotta admit, I prefer the second half of this project. To the first half, mainly because of that amazing, amazing beat I tried. I tried might be my favorite song of the year so far, only because of the beat, but he but slow ties writing is definitely another reason why on that as well. Along with on the second half on this, there is also a beautiful contribution to James from James Blake on the track Feel Away. Yeah, that's the name of the track, Feel Away. The track Terms with Dominic Fike and Denzel Curry is also really good, although I was really hoping for a verse from Denzel, even if he just does- because he just does the refrain on this track. And I guess the only track that didn't really click for me was Vex, one of the first tracks on the album. It just didn't keep me interested. I like the production on it still. That was a very constant theme throughout the project. Probably that's why it's being made as a double album, but just Vex did not really stand out to me in any way. And Vex is really the only time that I'm not really impressed by anything. On nearly every track on here, there's something that I am impressed with. Whether it's Slow Tie's performance, the production, or even some of his collaborators. There, this album was mostly a fun listen. I would like to think that Tyron is another big artistic statement from Slow Tie. This certainly puts him in more of a sentimental and sensitive and more heartfelt place than Nothing Great About Britain did. And now's the question if 
I enjoyed this project more than Nothing Great About Britain. I might have to sit on that. This, that that's a very tough choice. These are very on par with each other. So what I think I'll do is I will give this project, Tyron by Slow Tie, an 8 out of 10, and we'll call it a day. That's going to do it for this review. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. I love you. Stay safe. Yeah.